There we go. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... It's a model to little gear at your service. And oh, this can take time to get used to be on this side. <laughs> and let me just quickly correct that. And yeah, welcome to a new side quest of ours. Enslaved Odyssey to the West. We have showcased this game somewhat recently, like a few months ago. I don't think we ran across this game during the first run through. Yeah, it was <clears throat> it happened during this year. I think it was during in early summer or something like, like that. Could be, yeah. Uh, I, I think I've skipped this one at fur during the first run through because, well, I was already planning on streaming it eventually. And, well, <clears throat> here we are now. <laughs> and, yeah. Okay. Let's start a new game under normal. Yeah, we'll reset your checkpoint. I'm using a controller since, well, it works. <laughs> Welcome to Slave Ship 909 on route to Pyramid. You have been assessed and any injuries sustained during your capture have been designated as non-life-threatening. Remaining journey time is estimated at 16 hours. If you are experiencing severe nausea or need to relieve yourself, make a straight position beneath your feet. As a pyramid, a new life awaits you, free from the random hazards of the wild. Compliance will be rewarded with safety and sustenance. Non-compliance will be rewarded with pain. Warning. Temperature critical. Structural integrity 30%. And immediately things are going to crap. Screw him, I guess. <laughs> okay. Good. Alert! Prisoner loose in carriage nine. Prisoner loose. In Affirmative. Slave nine four nine. Combat mech activating. He's up. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's get out of this shit hole, because <laughs> everything is falling apart. Uh, the, the fact that Structural Integrity dropped the 30 immediately has me guessing that, well, it was never above 50. Also, I suspect that the... Alert. Power breach. Alert. These strips were not made Hull for quality. Probably, yeah, uh, especially seeing how everything looks like rust. Okay, we've got some parkour. Uh, wait, let's just keep moving whilst these egg pods just keep hey! crashing around. Where are you going? Let's get off this thing! Okay. Me? Okay, one of them got absolutely yeeted, and uh, yeah, <laughs> the ship just does not exist anymore. Oh, you said a Wilhelm scream there. <laughs> Fire in I would be a loose to be in this in their first time. 
Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, we, oh, we ask you, this one's a longer, easy to miss. Yeah, I missed a bit. My, the only one on my end is a bit stuttery, but I'm presuming, as usual, it is not on the screen share and stream, hopefully. Uh, it's just one over here. It's something with my Bluetooth connection that tends to fart out every so often. Okay. There. Okay. There will be more to this game than just platforming. Yep. We're going to find out here. We can't fight this thing. Gotta get my weapons back. Where's my stuff? What? The stuff. Where's my gear? Stuff you took away from me. I can't talk to you. It's against the rules. Item storage in the lower hall. They're doing what they're doing. It's do it or die. I hope we get to kick the uh, who's ever responsible for this madness ours. All right. At least I can get my gear back. There we go. I think uh, for the those who are aware of the literature that it's now becoming a bit clear, well, what everything <laughs> is uh, referencing to. And since, you know, I thought there was a platform behind us to jump to there to shortcut, but I will. Uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> this game is very, very, very loosely based on the story of a Journey to the West, or was it Journey to the East? Journey I forget to the West. this. Okay, shield will automatically block damage for a bit. And yeah, simple combat. Yeah, combo combat. But uh, yeah, the, the combat in this is quite enjoyable, if I remember correctly. Uh, combat mix. Still not active. Yeah, that's a bit more than I think we can handle. And yes, that little sash or whatever it is that's connected to his belt, that is supposed to be his tail. Activating combat mech. No, you had to jinx it, didn't you? Okay. Maybe we hmm? should give him an actual tail instead of uh, just a sash. Okay, simple color coding for when they're vulnerable or not. Okay. Well, that's a complete miss. Okay, I believe there is a bit of soft lock on. Ooh. But you will still have to steer your attacks in the right direction. Escape pod seven launched. Six. Six. Remaining. Better get a move on. Uh, of course, more. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me! Nope. Okay, no damage but leaves vulnerable. So good get the fuck away from me moves. Okay. And they are still using slavery, it is horrible, huh? 
It does make you wonder why not just rose robots instead? Yeah, th that is a bit of a question you have to ask. But I think we have bigger questions at the moment, like, well, getting off this thing. E true. Hey! Hey! Open the door! <laughs> you mother! <laughs> she can't hear a damn thing of what he's saying. Nope, looks like we'll have to go the long way then, huh? Bloody heck. Now what? Yeah, I, no, I can see this probably. I think I had some translation back then. When we spin this, and I can see it a lot easier that. This is not in good uh, condition. Yeah. Like, minor rust is one mm -hmm. thing, but. Not this here. looks more than just minor rust. Like, the wings in better condition than the, the no. ship. And, well, <laughs> wings are a pretty important part of any flying craft. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I assume that I saw that uh, the types that connect them are a bit rough and rusty. Also, that is, now that you mentioned that, we have had a lot less pixelation uh, issues uh, since we, uh, since I started sharing the, uh, the preview instead of OBS itself, right? I... So, yes, I believe this is the first time that you bring that up since we swapped over to that. Yeah, but hmm, and that has lag. But then it usually pull tells me that it's either from you or yeah, my I'm... internet connection. <laughs> okay, we almost had ourselves some roasted monkey there. However, uh, most of the times I have had it. A lot of it seems to maybe sometimes depend on the games you know, share to me, like... Doom and Doom Eternal were sometimes very laggy, but that was before you changed this for, uh, for us. I gotta get to one of those pods. And, uh, yeah, that was Lady Liberty. Wait, what? Launch. Yep, we just broke Three. the torch. Pods remaining. Thank you. I think I forgot that uh, that happened. So that means we are probably somewhere near New York. Yeah, also, uh, good job, monkey man. <laughs> okay. okay, that was a first. Oh, bloody heck. Up, up, up. Yeah, that didn't Before happen last time. Before we get away. Okay. <laughs> Say what you will, but at least this thing is, well, still somewhat airborne, despite everything. Yeah, this oh. was constantly and impressive. <laughs> Uh, two, I still don't know if we have one more of this. Might be a machine built from salvage parts. You only now figure that out? Oh, yeah, the, no, the more one look at it and really remember Inactive. more from what I saw from before, it would also more that it's almost. Well, okay. Come on.
Welcome to the jungle. It's not all fun and games. Captain Hillion is his name. <laughs> New York but City. I want to rhyme. New York City, all right. And somebody obviously escaped from the zoo and. Yeah. Well. Okay, turned off some extra things, so that should help with my Bluetooth connection. Headband. The one I fit on you. You put this on me. Let me explain. Get this thing off, or I'm gonna rip your head off. No. No? You think I'm screwing with you? You! Give me a stop! <laughs> Move away from me! Oh. What the hell are you doing? I hacked a slave headband. So it could be activated by my voice commands. Activation triggers a systemic pain response. It's what controls the slaves. I'm gonna kill you. You can't. If my heart stops beating for any reason. The headband will discharge a lethal dose. If I die, you die. Oh. <sighs> Why? I need your help. I come from a wind farmer community. It's about 300 miles from here. I'll never make it on my own. If slavers don't get me a mech's will, that's the deal. Get me back to my home, and you can go back to yours. Not like we have much of a choice. Looks like I don't have a choice. Either of us do. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's go. Command, and you, stay with me. You could just ask. But yeah, that's going to be the uh, core of the game. What the hell is all this stuff I can see? I've hacked the headband to give you visual feedback. It's patched into your shield system and my biometrics. And your voice? It's like, it's, it's inside my goddamn head. It is. We have a continuous audio link now. <laughs> Great. You got pretty beat up when we landed. Basic health, Shall we pick up, going? heal, etc. And yeah, welcome to... Uh, I believe Grand Central Station, though it's not so grand anymore. This must have been some kind of gathering point. Oh, missing. Is this the way out? Okay, what happened? That I'm not entirely sure of. Don't think it's ever actually explained either. Must be a drawbridge. I do just take Max out. Evacuation zone. The other side is blocked. Can you get around and clear it? And okay. I had be careful. Temporarily pixelation. Okay. Hmm. But let's move for a lag spike that just came in, in, in on my end. Keep your 
boys down. Are you alright? It's too Close. low for it. What it, are we gonna do? You, no. the yellow thing. If you say that it is, it's either from me or you. Yeah. This doesn't really help. Shit. Well. So much for not making noise. Let me deal with this. There we are. Lose I see. A lot of misting posters. And an evacuation the uh, evacuation zone marker. Yeah, and this was longer. What the missing posters before or during the evacuation? Okay. <laughs> it's all clear. Get over here. Coming. For depending when they were put that there, he can well give so many theories and speculations uh, variations. Can you move just this? for that little timing of when ready put up. There we go, no going back. Yeah, th this game at its core is a bit simple, but I still find it very enjoyable to play through. Yeah, I, I don't mind the simple uh, mechanic and all that, as long as it feels fun and it feels smooth. Antelope, I'm pretty sure that they is. The chemical with some computers I heard say is that some people expect every game to be Dark Souls, which I find you, you weird. To get you home as fast as possible so that you can take this thing off my head and I can break your neck. I meant... Y'all know what you meant. See that smoke over there? That's where the slave ship came down. First thing we're gonna do is head for that. Hoping my ride survived the crash. What's your ride? Uh, it's the only way I know how to cover 300 miles. Two wheels and an engine. There must have been thousands of people living here. More. Tens of thousands? Maybe. Oh so no. I wonder what happened to them all. Hmm. Actually, I don't think it is ever said what happened, but I think, well, with the most common enemies that we'll be fight facing, it'll be a bit clear as to what likely caused everything. a few hits due to our shields so that means we can close in okay, wait for him to reload and in we go also something that helps with my enjoyment of this game are those little uh, kill cam bits Sight. There we go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it looks like the game didn't uh, reset the, the point counts. So I'll just have to be a bit uh, conservative with using those because I think those are used for the upgrades. It has been a long ass time since I played this game. It's very cinematic. If we're gonna get through this, then when I ask you to do something, you need to do it immediately. Okay. 
I understand. Yeah, by the character models, you wouldn't really just be able to say that this game is 10 years old, right? Yeah, as I, I said, this, this is one of the games that came out around 10 years old, years ago. With Let's just go. the right amount of okay. art style detail that will age well over the years. Yeah. It's not to just say that everything the... looks amazing, but it still looks very good. And also, I'll take that. Yeah, it's... No need. It's still age well. I feel like we get the more more point of it. I feel like. Like they try to make more and more graphics color out are stronger and stronger to make more and more impressive graphics. But I feel like point. Maybe improve them to be more durable instead? Yeah, it goes. Ah, crap. Hold on. Activate the pattern. Oh, I think this is a pattern shooter. Like, like, try to do the more, more new, easier machine components more powerful. But at the same time, turn them into glass cannons. It's an EMP pulse. Yeah. My father gave it to me. It knocks out small mechs for a few seconds. Oh, Enough right. to give me a chance to get away. I, I, I mean, I accidentally speak it over them uh, a few times. There must be live power cells around here. Doesn't matter. We shouldn't get sidetracked. We just need to get to the crash site. Only a few bits. But yeah. She has an AOE stun that we can use every now and then. Next. Hmm. Shh, we can't sneak past them. I'll get across and draw their attention. Then you make a run for it. Oh, you're back. Uh, okay. What was it? Oh yeah. The sun is making more graphics and more glorious. Improve all the qualities like less heat making, less electricity, like make them better in other aspects besides just graphics. Like, what good is a graphic card if it destroys itself? Yeah. Okay. We're not in the clear yet. There's the way out. But we'll never make it across that gap. There's no cover. Maybe this time I can distract them? I might be able to create a decoy. Okay. Distract it! Okay, got it. Go! Yep, Spontos. just like we can distract. She can distract. Yep. Hey! Hey! Go, go, go! Okay! Hey! I, I don't okay. think she has a shield. Hey! So, uh... Yeah, can't she, she can't take a no shot. Okay, okay, leave it with me. I'll take out those mechs. Those look rusty, unlike the others that attack. What am I going to expect? Maybe the machine uprising, but the something doesn't fit there with the theory. Okay, where do we get it? Oh, here we get across. Uh, any chaos of distraction, please? There we go. I don't think it is absolutely required to keep using stuff like this, but it is an option. Okay. And it bothers enough time to get close. No, you don't. Okay. Basic shield stuff. If it runs out, well... We get hurt beyond that. But it will recharge after fights and such. I hmm. don't know if it'll recharge if we leave it... Al if we... Well, not don't get shot for a, a bit. Okay. Okay, she's already at work. Okay. No. Time to stop monkeying around. And move on. There we go. Okay. 
Now, let's see. What shenanigans are we going into now? Let's see. I don't remember if there are collectibles in this game. Yep. I don't really think you need to lift that. She could have moved underneath it, I'm sure. Okay. Look at this tree. It must be hundreds of years old. Is this me? Oh. No mix. I don't add yet. Hmm. What is it? Who has got taken out recently? Rotorhead's mind. I need to find another way. I think I might be able to do something. Pull me. Hey. And mine. See the dragonflies? I need you to catch one. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not commanding you. I'm asking you. Well, that's a pleasant the change. Pretty high. What about that ladder? If you lift me up, maybe I could drop it down for you. And up you go. <laughs> yeah, basically this is this game is going to be one long uh, so body road trip. You want me to catch one of these dragonflies? It might be difficult. They frighten easily and they're quick. So are you going to give us a reason why? There's one. Right there. Okay, it's something about them that looks. It's just, it's, it's right over there. It's just. Yeah, I know, I can see it. I'm not blind. God damn, would you stay still? It's a bug, of course, it's not going to stay still. Especially when a yeah, big know. ape is chasing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Run, monkey man, run. <laughs> I'm still sensing I'm gonna kill you. Oh, what a day. I don't know why I did a very bad or good no, no, monkey impression. <laughs> you did well enough. <laughs> So I can't tell if those markings on his body, if those are paint or if those are some sort of scarring. They, I'm guessing they're paint because, well, if those were scars, it would be intentionally, well, caused with all the patterns with them. Some of them are, look like tattoos, but some others do look like actual scars. It is a mechanical! I used to play with dragonflies all the time as a kid. Didn't you? No, I used to squash them. They evolved some simple sensors to help them sniff out energy sources. Hmm. They're pretty basic, but for our purposes, they'll do the trick. <laughs> Confused monkey. Yeah, as quick as saw these little buggers, I was... <laughs> Keep still. Yeah, that's one feather in her cap, figuratively speaking. It's now set up to send a live relay to your headband. It has a camera setting and a sensor setting. 
So... Try it out. <laughs> Follow me. But, yeah. I guess in a way you could see this game as a sort of uh, precursor to uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. There we go. Be able to see the mines on your headband display. Maybe. What do you think? It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, now can we can avoid these. The I can't see where they are. Okay, come here, you. <laughs> Okay, at least the uh, the mechs have already cleared a pass through these. Okay, and we can just keep running around with her on our back. Yeah. yeah see, in this case, she is the monkey on our back. Yeah. Oh, I should probably finish what I was saying. When I saw the photographers earlier, I instantly had a feeling that something was off with them. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look close to see if this were, if they were mechanical or organic, but something just gave me... Instantly, one of that's not a dragonfly. It looks like a dragonfly, but that's not a dragonfly uh, in my head. Yeah, they're also quite a bit too big since, well, there's butterflies all over the place and dragonflies are even smaller than that. Or organic ones, at least. Oh, you... you don't know, do you? Yeah, there are some old species that were really freaking huge, I that believe. As we've seen in Ark. Yeah, Meganura. Biggest falcons. Wait, it's still alive. Right here. Maybe you should do another scan. We got a problem. There are mines everywhere. Let's head for that building. Stop the war. Hmm. Yeah, still alive. Head to Grand Central. Well. Don't think that's working anymore. Uh, so many questions. Hmm. Like, when were the mines here? When did some put up new mechs? Was that during the chaos or after the chaos? But it's something not to be. I'll look for a way through. Like, I could see it be a machine uprising, but there are some okay. things that feel a bit off. With that idea, I can get across up here. Like, uh, okay. yeah, there's something the that doesn't fit properly, if that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, to my knowledge, there, my guess is there was a war going on. There was a war going on between who and who. Well, isn't really important. And my guess is that, well. Either, <clears throat> either the war was fought with mechs or with mechs and soldiers, but probably somewhere along the way the mechs went rogue for some reason or another. And well, everything went to shit. And I'm guessing after that point, these yeah, mines and such were placed. Let's see. Can we go down here? No. Yeah. Invisible wall. But one of the things, reason I feel like it does this off is you expect hmm. you would expect Mix to design a ship better. That doesn't mean well. Those that was a slaver ship. Doesn't have to mean it's a mech, a mech ship since well. All they've been doing so far is trying to kill us. Yeah, do the ship had mechs hmm. in them. Yeah, it doesn't have to mean that all mechs are rogue now. Like, if we saw that uh, our travel companion could hack this headband, so there is still technology to have some control over mechanics. And where the hell are we supposed to go? Perhaps. Yeah, maybe we find clues if we investigate the environment. They did say stop. Was a big sign was saying stop the war. Yeah, so my guess is going cross. to. Can you hold me? Yeah, my guess is going to be that uh, war robots went rogue, and well, uh, hmm. 
How do we... Yeah, how do it... A bit of how to do stop the war and if the uh, robots go... Do... It really depends when that sign was put up. Hey, it was before or after the you. robots went broke. Yep, and if we go too far away, <laughs> that band goes off. Okay. Yep. Ow. Like, like I said, it's likely that the... It's likely that at some point or another the bots went rogue okay. and, well, yeah, basically man. exterminated... Well, not exterminated completely, but drove mankind uh, basically back into the Stone Age. Yeah. Well, with some tech. Are you okay? Now, there are also other things curious, like... I think you may know that this the signs on the max is a little bit curious. Okay, where the heck? We can't jump down here. We can't move no. on. Hmm. The, uh, the rusty one looks like all old models, but the ones with spikes? They look oh. newer, but also odd sense. Why would you? They have spikes in that manner. Yeah, come on. So maybe people oh, have right. hacked them or something. Hopefully there we, we go. get some answers. We may notice by the environment, for there's a lot of theories you can do, but how to do a proper pinpoint without knowing when each thing happened. Yeah, my easy guess is war, robot revolution, well, everything to sh and then everything to shit. Simple 1.23. Okay. Turrets. I'm detecting a structural weakness. If you could get close, you might be able to knock that down and crush it. Okay. No. Simple enough, go from cover to cover, where there's no cover. Yeah, <laughs> when there's no cover, use the decoy. Quickly. Because our shields would not uh, last long against that. Okay. But yeah, back to okay, Horizon Horizon Zero Dawn again for a sec. I am. I, I do want to stream that once at one point, but that's going to be a bit of a lengthy one, I believe, with it being an open world game and all. Looks like you might be able to sneak past them. Okay. Minor stealth. Okay. You want to jump down? Yep, well, we woke it up, but we still got out, so <laughs> get lost, you. Uh, uh, oh, never mind, all of them just wake up from that. Okay. Not sure how it. Uh, not sure how we uh, could have gotten past those then, because, well, from what I saw, they were basically covering every pathway. What the heck? Yeah. Yeah, I can send this. Well, for more, my look at the robot. These robots were probably not the same models that uh, took down the, the civilization. Yeah. Or this world had a curious uh, taste for designing <laughs> combat mechs. At this point, I'm not be surprised that there's a mad scientist that made all this uh, happen. Can we grab those? Not that they're well worth much compared to the twenty thousand I already have from previous playthrough. Uh, every little bit counts in this case. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I can't get past until you've cleared the way for me. Okay, I don't think we can destroy that thing with our own attacks. Hmm. How do we get up there? Oop. 
Let's see. Is there any way I can see around here? Can't climb on that, so that's a no. Hmm. Okay, how do we get up there then? Or can we bash this thing? No, it immediately goes back into hiding. Hmm. Okay, I'm not seeing a pathway through. This is the checkpoint for the next area. But, well, we need to get her over here first. Wait, where did you put two blue drop the sign on it? Yeah, but the question is, how do we get up there? I think that's our way. Hmm. Let's see if we can... Got that, <laughs> there's... A possible can you jump path? Up there? Yeah, there's no, there's no uh, parkour points between there and there. Mm. Let's see, it's protected by a row of mines, so we can't go that way. Did I completely miss something? I feel like that you may have. Hmm. Can't go back, so I don't remember this game being poorly designed enough that. If you get past a certain point, you lock yourself out somehow. So is there something I'm missing here? Hmm. Did we miss something? Did we miss something? Oh, uh... I see. There we go. It was a bit hidden. <laughs> I, I overlooked it because I saw the red of the flowers. And thought, well, no. <laughs> okay. And now we have, well, a new attack. And there we go. And, yeah, well, the sign didn't stop the war, but at least it stopped that turret. <laughs> There we go. Oh, another one. No, you don't. Okay, I'll probably take a look at uh, upgrades in a bit to at least speed up combat and such. has a point. Yeah. But it does offer some benefits with the distance communications. But... There you go. If we're gonna be traveling together, maybe we should exchange names. My name is Tripitaka, but I often get called Trip. I mean, pretty much always, people call me Trip. How about you? I don't have a name. You must. Everyone has a name. Not everyone. Well, what did your parents call you? They were killed in a mech attack when I was a kid. I grew up in the wilds, alone. Well. What do other people call you, then? Monkey. In the communities I trade with, some of them call me Monkey. If you want to give me a name, you can use that. Okay. Monkey. Yep, Monkey and Trip. Like, 15 minutes into the game. <laughs> Finally a name. Another turret. Get down before that turret sees us. Scanning. Yep, 
Even more bloody mines. Wait. I'm detecting a fuel source. A fuel cell? No. This is from the old days. It's in that container. Looks like it's petroleum. You know, Monkey, if you could actually get up to that turret, you can take control of it. Okay. Cause distraction, please. Okay. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be a 2010s game without at least one turret section. Um. Okay, it's not recharged. Okay, Ooh, that's a long bit. Thank you. Okay. Now we should be close enough to be out of its firing range. Or firing arc more. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That probably alerted all of Manhattan. I'm detecting mechs. Lots of them. They're coming straight towards me. Ah, over there. Okay, just gotta deal with these since, well, we probably did alert like half of Manhattan or something with an explosion. Okay, but this also tell a bit that. Uh, Technology did advance since uh, thing went, things went to shit. If petroleum is considered an old fuel source, yeah, but I guess it stands uh, again. If uh, too many people died and it looks like this, it might not be as widespread. There we go. Let's get out of here. Okay. And yeah, that thing is now brainless because we tore off its targeting sensor or something, I'm guessing. Or mm -hmm. I think a bit of the, uh, something like this disaster earlier, you able to develop technology. I guess it, it, the priority of what kind of the technology and purpose hey, will. Wait up. They take a lot. An I think I can upgrade your equipment. Well, a lot of it would probably survival. Let's see. Health. Yeah, wartime does tend to be... Uh... <clears throat> Wait. Oh, I already have all of these unlocked. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I would have preferred what? it if they'd been reset, but oh well. Uh, might as well use these bits. Uh, let's see, anything on combat? Yeah, all, all of these already gotten. <laughs> so, so much for restarting a new game. So I guess that means you can unlock all of them now. Or at least most. Apparently this one... Okay, we need double the amount of points for that still. Okay. And I don't oh. think the staff is actually that useful in combat, so that can be ignored, I guess. <laughs> Tough as they come. But why is it in that corner now? Wasn't the previous one in the opposite corner? Uh, no, it was up there. Okay, then... That means that it moved without my uh, command again for some reason. Okay. Pick you up. Are they supposed to throw you over? Uh, there we go. Yeet! Well, okay, maybe that was not a yeet. <laughs> okay, moving on. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, as uh, we were just saying, 
what time will the not end, but what time will be the a lot is survival. For that is not just Okay, Freddy is 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 move. Will this help me survive? Uh, will it help to clean water? Will it help me to cook my food safely? Will it be a good defense? Will it be a good weapon? This also will take a priority. Like in war, but yeah, just uh, if it helps you survive. Yeah, but typically it goes more towards how to better kill something else quickly. Yeah. There we go. Just have to move it like an inch more. Wait, the fishes are still alive? Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. They should be dead. Makes perfect sense. The sunlight feeds the plants. The plants oxygenate the water. The small fish eat the algae. The big fish eat the small fish. It's a closed ecosystem. Just like my home. Uh... My father designed our community to work in exactly the same way so that we'd never have to leave the outer compound walls. We grow our own food, condense our own water, create our own energy. We have everything. Except the future. What do you mean? Well, I've seen it all before. Scattered tribes coming together under one visionary leader. It's never long before they attract the attention of the slavers, which obviously has already happened. It was just one slave ship. And they caught a handful of us. Think more won't follow. Yeah, you're not These the big fish. fish. Can survive for 200 years against all the odds. So can we. Well, so much for the fish surviving. That thing was buried. Yep. And also. Uh, those yeah, fish you need a much bigger tank than uh, that for a, a closed ecosystem of fish to live. Or yeah, survive. For, it, those fish will have. At least die from lack of genetic diversity. AKA, they will go extinct Ow. from incest. As, yeah, what I said here, the incest is sterility. Or, I guess infertile uh, is proper verb in word in this case. Yeah, I'm, I'm... Okay, even with all the upgrades you have, the damn thing is still kicking your arse. Yeah, it's not done much health damage yet. Oh, look, the statue is breaking. Okay, coming over here, big boy. Okay. Come on. Get angry, there we go. Not sure how you'd make a mech angry. Use it to your advantage. It's working, do it again. Okay. I'm out. Not yet. Wait, did that go straight through the shields? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, so the shield is only for ranged attacks. Okay, well, we know that Atlas can bear the weight of the world on his shoulders, but can the Demolition Mac, Mac do the same? Hey. I'd say that's a no. What? I surprise how well it survived that. Well, sort of. Still killed it. Hey, Trip. Come on. Come on. 
Go scan this thing. <laughs> I can't understand why she's crying. Yeah. Okay, the metal tower, but yeah, to continue the metaphor a bit, I guess that also oh, yeah. shows how quickly those closed ecosystems can be shattered. We're gonna have to cross this ravine. You see that metal tower? Maybe we can use it to get across. Okay. I'll use the dragonfly to find us a route. I'll put a marker up on your headband display. We can get through here, but there are mechs up ahead. Looks like we don't have any choice. A government? Hmm? But there seems to be an quote unquote sleep mode. Yeah. Some points up there. Probably could get it if we went right earlier. Okay. And there's a lot of key symbols and crates. Uh, yeah, I think some of the damage that is around, like, well, all of fucking this, might be because of whatever those were a part of. Yeah, um, let's be honest, consider how much greenery there is here. I can't jump this far. It's been a well, long ass time. And also, wait, is New York within a earthquake area? Hmm, not sure. You. Monkey, help! I'm slipping. Okay, you need some better gloves. <laughs> Ones with a bit more grip. Hmm. I don't know if earthquake territories can move or not. And the trip did say that it's been like wow. two hundred years or so. My heart was beating so hard, I thought they were gonna hear it. Okay, the green light can make sense with two hundred years. Well, that's mm. still a damn big tree for it to be 200 years old. And it's all earlier. Yeah, it could be that it's been longer. Like 200 years since when? Looks like we have to head upwards. Yeah, okay. You can throw me up there. Up you go. Don't trip and fall back down. Trip. Okay. Oh, get on monkey's back, and up we go. Why did the mechs try to kill us? It's all they know. We should keep moving, it's not safe. All they know, right? Let's see. Keep the shit Rather out. quiet. Hey, hey, I just found something. What have we here? Wow, that's an energy serum. Should help your wounds. Okay, so <laughs> a full heal, nice. Not sure how much we need it. And hello. Because of your headband. It is effectively wired into your brain. Maybe it causes hallucinations. Great. Great. This this just gets better and better. I'm sorry. Well, yeah. to be fair to her, for all she knew, he would he would have tried to crush her head even without having uh, the reason for having the headband put on. Yeah, and desperation. Yeah. 
Okay, like, let's just You can do all horrible things out of desperation. And she is obviously regretful and sorrowful having to do it, so... I mean, not a problem mm. if she was not regretful. Yeah, but at this point, uh, she probably thinks she has like a 25% chance of not getting her head crushed if she takes it off of him. So, uh, yeah. Hey, we might have a problem. One of those mechs has a shield. Wait here. I'll do a scan. Okay. Listen to women up to each other. That's I think something is getting cooked downstairs. Oop. Uh. I'll mark it. There's something different about that mech on the left. I think its gun arm might be detachable. Okay, I'll see if I can rip it off. <laughs> you. They've activated! Okay, not sure if we could actually sneak up closer because, well, pretty sure we, they were, uh, those lines were sweeping, oh, not staying in there. We're sweeping quite hey! effectively. Okay. Yes, yes. And Monkey's got a gun. Monkey! Wait. <laughs> you did it! Okay, now, get to the ladder and knock it down. Donkey sounds horrible, doesn't it? <laughs> it sounds like a... It sounds like a keyblade that's not a blade but a gun. <laughs> yeah, oh, it sounds like something's made of gunk. Oop, there's two ways to go here. So, okay. yeah. Pun name... If you can call it that. To the garbage can. <laughs> it sounds actually bad. Gun key. <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah, it actually sounds like a gun key. Uh... <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, you do see what I aimed for, but it you didn't what? really land. You did good. Spotting that gun arm. Thanks. Yeah, I think something is getting cooked downstairs, which is a bit early at four. Hmm. I'll have to go check that out. Yeah, okay. Plasma collected. It's ammo for the staff, I believe. And uh, let's see. Trip, where where the heck you go? I just realized something here. You said this stuff is not so useful, but you have used this stuff quite a lot. Yeah, in... In this way, I meant. Ah, you mean that's a ranged weapon. Okay, where the heck did she uh, go? Um... And yes, just... I kicked, this, I kicked the, the gun down the... <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, seriously, where are you, Trip? Did you seriously trip and fall down somewhere? Ah, this way. Overlook this. I showed you where it was earlier. Okay. I don't think I can get you across this. Oh, wait. I can get through here. Okay, I'll find another way around. Yeah, typical... There's a security door here. Give me a minute. Typical stuff like this, we've seen it in Prince of Persia and such. They can get through places we can't. And, well, will we split apart okay. for a little bit because of that? Of course, those things aren't extinct. We're nearly at the metal tower. Let's be honest, it's probably hard to make it pigeons Hurry extinct. Up. Yeah. Though at least these ones hopefully are more healthier to eat. Whoa. There's a lot of mechs out there. 
Wait, I'll do a scan with the dragonfly. Shoot at one. Looks like we need to get to that door. Bad news is that turret is covering it. Okay. That mech has the same kind of detachable gun arm. Multiple mechs, but they're inactive. Okay, so get the gun and start blasting. I'll wait here until it's safe. There we go. Give me that. <laughs> didn't actually shoot anything there, but they will. But sit still and. Rude Russia. You can gun scout hide here. Gun scout? What? I'm guessing these things are called scouts then. Okay, Why can we... would a scout have shield and a minigun? Well, we don't know what the stronger stuff is equipped with. Okay, for the turret, we just need to get close enough. Yep. Oh, yep. Okay, we need to get up somewhere else. Okay, okay Trip, can you do a distract? Dis <laughs> distracted by jingling some keys. Uh, those gaps are too big to jump. Uh, okay, we need trip to get here. Okay, so... Let's keep its attention. I just wonder, is it less of a machine revolution or they went haywire? Yeah, not too much of a difference, but no, there is difference, of course. Like, if it's an intelligent revolution or it's just, they just go uh, mad because of some corruption or such, it is probably more corruption than uh, intent. I can drop the ladder if you get me up there. Yeah. Do yeah, the ones with claws and razor backs? Or the ones that looks off? Could be that they are programmed to self-replicate, and while well, they've been making do with whatever scrap they've been able to find. Yeah, I, I guess... <clears throat> I guess if any, when most of your foe don't have firearms, Massive blades will work just fine. Yeah. And judging from the fact that we don't get shredded just from getting shot at, that's... They're probably shooting scrap or some sort of scrap bullets or some sort of... Not military-grade quality, at least. Also, that was close. At <laughs> Decoy, please. Okay, stay out of its sights. It's running out. Be careful. And there we go. Yeah, whatever that is, it's some okay. part connecting something else important. No, I'm not. I'm still stuck here. Okay, nothing else to deal with here, but at least it's brain dead now, or if it's not, at least it can <laughs> all it can do is angrily uh, sit there and watch us as we just continue on. I can't get past. Wait here, I'm gonna find a way to get rid of it. <laughs> like a Dalek that can't shoot or move. <laughs> oh... Let's see, all it can do is simmer, if it is even intelligent enough to do that. Which I'm guessing it's not. Okay. Yep. Camera, work with me. Ah, this way. Nope. It is nice that they mm. the climb... It, it is nice that interactable bits shine like that. Makes it a bit easier to spot. 
It's really like something odd. Hmm? If the older man is busy in instinctively trying to kill people, yet they are slavers. It, it, they don't have to be aligned to the same cause or same thing. True, but it does make me wonder. Who are the other faction? Yeah, probably uh, yeah, yeah, probably, survivors. <clears throat> probably survivors. Probably survivors who have grown large enough to be able Shit. to. Yeah, crap. Shit, I tripped the alarm. Get on that I can see where this is. Yep, I thought uh -oh. so. The, the slavers are just probably a faction that, or a tribe that grew big and strong enough to start bullying the others around, and well, just escalation from there on. Think like uh, the Legion from Fallout. Uh, possibly. Keep it back while I get this open. I just need a few more seconds. Yep. Ooh, over there. Yep. I can't really tell if it's better to do try and lead these targets or aim directly on top of them. Typically, the shots do take like a bit of a second to travel, so I guess leading would be well, the better attempt. Well, yeah, my, my guess is that at one point the military robots oh, went. Got uh, it. Got it. Let's go. My guess is that basically the friend or foe uh, programming on the mechs at one point went uh, bad and, well, everything turned to foe other than, well, other mechs. So they're basically like wild animals. Yeah, and I guess the enslaves are those who. We're able to reprogram. Yeah, oh, another Spectre. Yeah, this. Yep. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Just like everyone else did. I ain't gonna let that happen. Let's get you out of this depressive place. Because we kind of need you to stay alive. So we can stay alive. More mechs. The metal tower. We're nearly there. What the heck happened to the tower? Well, the there. actual building. I'll deal with them. Let's just make our way down. Okay, can go down here. Oh, uh, all right, I remember. I was going to say, what the heck happened to the skyscraper? That looks like it was actually built to look like that. Oh. Otherwise, it's a big fucking ship that's been stuck nose down in the ground. But I, no, I, I think it's supposed to look like some sort of ship or just wing. Oop, stun it. Okay. Hmm. Freeze an enemy for a limited time. Let's start the fight over here, away from Trip. Of course, I immediately get myself cornered. Something. You, you see that maybe the military bot went haywire? Yeah. Oop. 
What if all the robots were higher? So you did have to fight a demolition boss. Yeah. Could be a sort of Skynet thing or something that they had a central programming or control network or something and that went down. Maybe through military strike, maybe through accident. Yep. Talking about them, militia mech. <laughs> okay, nice to know that we can actually stun these bastards for a bit. <laughs> Need to dodge away earlier with these. Yep. Come on. I guess it's heavy demolition arms, but why the feet as well? Uh, let's see. Let's lure you this way. Uh, now we can be the big guy. And that is probably my favorite takedown in this entire game. <laughs> I think we can get back out onto the street from here. <laughs> Monkey with his Dragon Ball Z scream. Oh, damn it. I also saw something cursed yesterday, I think. Come on, Monkey. Two, uh, the day before uh, related to that. <laughs> Basically. Ash ate Pikachu and returned into Goku. Wherefore art yes. thou? Yeah. I don't understand people at times. Okay. Vote hope, not war. Liar. <laughs> Core of the year. I need to find another way of getting you across. Wait here. You're leaving me alone here? How do I know you're coming back? You die, I die, right? Yeah. So? Oh. So I'm coming back. Get in the trash can, Ashley. <laughs> and there's your Resident Evil joke for you. Oh dear. Yeah. I do feel like we are getting hints from the environment of what may have happened. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, I don't think it's ever I don't think it's ever outright stated. Just let me concentrate on climbing. Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, the combo system is rather simple. Basically, whenever you do a heavy attack, it ends whatever combo you were doing. Oop. Ah, crap. Electromax fire bolts of energy that should be avoided. <laughs> uh, ow. Okay, luckily it takes some time for them to recharge. Yep. Ow. And immune to stun. Okay. Not immune against sticks, though. So that stick is more like a long club. Yeah. Let's see, there's some extra bits here. Let me just quickly grab those since the upgrades are very expensive, as you saw earlier. Okay, up, up. Get to the root of the problem and get some more. Okay. There. Okay. Even more. 
Okay, which way am I supposed to go then? Is this all extra, or...? Hmm. Give me a sec. Is there anywhere else to climb here from, or is this... Hmm. Yeah, this is the way forwards. We just need to find... Ah, this way. Right. There we go. Okay. Let's see then. Hmm. Actually, I had a, I had a bit of a thought now. It could be that uh, energy cells and petrol and such... Yeah, that at one point petrol basically became obsolete due to the development of energy cells, which is likely what is powering all of these mechs even two centuries later. And that uh, petrol basically became like... Well, could be that the energy cells were mostly military tech. So the public was not going to have that available to them, so petrol would still be used. The main resource of yeah, fuel and such. Or it could be that, uh, yeah, once the ooh, once the mechs went mad, they had to scramble for well, old resources. Because I very much doubt that the moment the mechs turns, that everything in that society in the society collapsed immediately. It probably still would have taken a bit of time. Uh, yeah, during which they would try to fight back, but I'm guessing an over-reliance on combat mechs for armies probably uh, meant that it was a done deal. Possibly. Hmm. Quick, 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 we don't have this decoy. We have only our shields. Let's move, monkey. Let's see. We can get close to one. Moment of cover. Okay, deal with you quick. Okay. I don't really know if the plasma is really. Let's let's have a try with that. Okay, so it, it, it literally is just ammo for that. Not so we had a bit of a three shots earlier. It, weren't those supposed to take out? Quick, 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 quick. Okay, that got a bit close. Probably could have done that better, but yeah, it, it looked like this didn't work on the actual shield because it did not take it down. Maybe maybe multiple shots are needed, but yeah, it would be a bit resource intensive. Also, here we go again. Yeah, he is quite deliberately seeing ghosts pop up in his head Monkey, each time. What just happened? It's just uh, another one of those headband glitches. I'm guessing he is seeing flashes of people who have worn the bands before. Maybe? Though, this would be a really old headband then if it's like at least two centuries later. Okay, or... I'm at the top of the building. I'm nearly at the metal tower. Mm, or it could be that uh, her hacking combined with well, it's tapping into his freaking brain may have nudged something loose or something to make him more sensitive to yeah, to make him more sensitive to yeah, psionic stuff or such. Hmm. Now, don't look down. Good. Hey. 
Okay. Quick, quick, quick. No time to loiter. I think Monkey is getting pretty sick of climbing up stuff that's falling apart. Well, I think that's I metal down to make a bridge. Yeah, at least that part is still stable enough. Okay. I thought I told you to stay put. Hey, Trip, can you hear me? Monkey, help. What's going on? Uh, it came out of nowhere. I, I was just looking around and... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Just c calm down and tell me exactly what happened. And what I just saw. It's a dog. You can't fight it. Just, just keep still. Don't move and don't make a sound. Okay. I'm coming to get you. Looks more like a damn frog. Down, boy. <laughs> hey, trip. Pop's getting a bath. Use the stuff I dropped to get across. That thing won't stay down for long. Okay. Yeah. Aren't these things supposed to be fitted with elevators or something? Then again, I'm guessing they probably broke down like uh, 150 years ago. Yeah, actually, probably it probably broke after like a year max. Health refill. Okay. Actually, that hmm. dog was actually weird. Really but. Why bother giving the jaw? Oh. No, okay, you didn't see any guns on it. I know it's a, I, I know it's a game here, but I do know it's a game. Me? It's climbing up. Hang in there. Yeah, I'm there. on my way. This way. Oh, monkey! Trip. Oh, monkey was horrible. Right, come on. Oh, the horrible, I can feel it breathing! Come on! Go! Come on! Monkey right there, it's coming! And time for a bit of crash bandicoots. Faster, faster! Yeah, that's a problem. Going, going, going. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, crap. It's in! It's in, Monkey! Quick, get up here! Romeo and Juliet. Final show. Probably more final than they thought. Trip? Trip, where are you? I'm okay. Keep climbing. Okay, I'm coming. Monkey, I found a way out. Uh, wait a wait. Okay, at least it can't reach us up here. Three, two. Okay, I was expecting it to make a leap. Same. But yeah, it, it doesn't have any guns, so that answers why it has a jaw. Why it has a tongue, though, uh... No clue. Maybe, uh, 
Maybe there's sensors in there to track prey or something by scent. Prey being, of course, uh, <laughs> other, <laughs> other soldiers. Originally, at least. Now it just goes uh, free for all. Okay. Get on through. Okay. Best we stick together because uh, that thing's not going to give up easily. Dirty rope, if it's still around after two centuries. Monkey. That's a power cell. Nah. I gotta get up there. Look, that mech is still outside. Come on, let's keep moving. Monkey, that is a power cell. It's too valuable to leave behind. Please, find a way to help me get up there. Okay. Well, let's do this quick. Valuable. Let me do a scan. Okay, so that kind of kills my theory that it was for military use only. But still There's probably rare-ish. We should be able to climb up the rubble. Oh, you'll need to clear the mechs before we can climb. Detecting a fault in that mech. Or for rather simple sensors on these things, they are. They can still squat. Yeah, spots quite a bit, huh? Yeah. I almost said squat quite a bit. I don't think a, a mech needs to do squats. That's disabled all of the rest, or at least stun them. Nope, no, you don't. Do you know how much it costs to make a call in the post apocalypse? <laughs> Okay. I got right. a bit. Oops. Let's get up to that power cell. I got a bit close with the reinforcements calling one, but still managed to do well enough. <clears throat> okay. We need to climb up this way. Uh, where are you, Trip? Where... Oh wait, do you? <laughs> She needs to be thrown up again, doesn't she? No, actually, my favorite. There must be different types of power cells, and the robots might be use a different one that's more adapt for their size. This one Probably, may yeah. adapt for a, a building. Where are you? Yep. <laughs> right out of sight. And I would not be surprised if power cells come in in different power levels. Probably, yeah. Something something power levels in Dragon Ball. Okay. Okay. Throw me up. You brought the word up. Something out. 
Okay. Okay, I think I can do this. The power cell is protected by an electronic lock. So, I'll actually need to switch on the whole system in order to bypass it. It should only take a couple of minutes. Let's hope we have a couple of minutes. Presuming that the, the power cell itself is what also powers the electronic lock? Okay. Okay, good thing that its sensors are probably a bit damaged or it's simple enough that it can't tell the difference between, well, a decoy. Monkey, I have an idea. There's a scaffold up there. I could drop it on the dog and trap it. Damn! It's not working! The mechanism is stuck. Monkey, you've got to get up there and unjam it. How the hell do I do that? If you line up the lighting rigs, you should be able to climb up. Okay, and how do we line them up? Wait. I'm gonna do a scan. Okay. See those switches? They control the lighting rigs. There's three of them, and if you line them up with the scaffold, you should be able to get across. Okay, simple enough. I'm guessing with the holographic technology they cheaped out on the the other stuff. That or it's very damaged. Like it has the power, but uh, the other components may be damaged. That's it. But the third set of lights are still down. <laughs> Okay, we'll probably have to get through, yeah, yeah get to those. Get all three lined up. Yo, oh, nice little detail. I don't know. It's part of this entertainment program. <laughs> Let's see, that lowers that, so it gets in line get with the other. So I like a little detail there. As we got close to the trip, uh, it stopped you. We could hear her speaking normally instead of over the uh, <clears throat> over the uh, connection. Also, let's not hang around on these too long because they're rather low. <clears throat> You're nearly there. Okay. That way. Then we get back to here. And let's see. Yep. We can get back to the middle one. Simple little puzzle. Okay. Hey, how long was this game again? Uh, not too long, but I think we still should be able to get uh, three to four streams out of it. All right. Okay, I don't remember how many chapters there are. You can climb up to the scaffold now. Yeah, that's gonna wear us for. I noticed we're going through a few chapters already. It's at least double digits. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be a road trip uh, story without, well, quite some distance to go still. Because, yeah, it's 300 miles that we have to go. Well, it's not every day that you can get to you get to body slam an angel and a dog at the same time. At least we got the power cell. Let's get out of here before that thing breaks free. Hey, wait, wait. We can scan it. Are you crazy? Scan the dog. It's not even dead. Trust me. It's better now than ever. Plus, with it being functional, it should be a better scan. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, chapter five, the crash sites. Hmm. I think it might go in the 20 there. chapters or more. The crash site. We're almost there. We have to get across this bridge first. Let's go. Okay. I have no idea if this is supposed to be Manhattan or that area is supposed to be because I know basically nothing about which <laughs> landmarks are in which areas. Is Manhattan uh, okay. okay. I know how we're gonna get across. A cloud works here. What's that? It's a cloud. It doesn't look like a cloud. Well, maybe a little like a cloud. I'll be right back. <laughs> how does it work? <laughs> I don't know. All I know is, it works some places and not in others. It must be able to resonate with static EM fields of high enough concentration. As I say, work some places and not in others. Yeah. So can I get on it? Sorry. Only room for one. Okay. Let's see. Where do we need to go? Here we need to go, I'm guessing. But we need to get trip across as well. Happy. So. I've got an idea. Oh, there. Okay. I, I also like that. I, oh, that's a big one. I probably should have said it before, but I do also like that uh, the game just gives explanations for the HUD and such because it's well, it is the <clears throat> it's uh, the headbands, well, basically drilled into monkey's brain, and it's cloud. Not it's not cloud, but it's it's Trip who is putting down. Mm, the markers and such. Always nice to manage at least uh, somewhat of an attempt at explaining yeah, stuff like so. that. Okay, then that one I'm guessing. Okay. Second verse, same as the first. There. Okay, get out of the way. Okay, okay. I don't think we get too many sections where we get to screw around with the cloud and such. Also, that's a big ass truck. Yeah. 
Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yep. And it should be smooth sailing. Yep. Okay. And the music fades away as we leave it behind. What was that electronic voice? Oh, it was the clouds. I'm, I, I'm guessing it was the clouds saying that it became inactive. Just some ancient redundant technology. Let's keep going. Right. There's installation, partial installation uh, instructions or something. I don't like it. Okay. We're gonna have to climb up there. Hmm. We are going to be quite Only the climb. <laughs> up and over. I'd rather just up. And on. Find another way around. I'll meet you over there. Okay, oh. should be easy enough. Just need to find well where to start. This way. There. Okay. Of course, everything starts to crumble the moment we as so much as touch Monkey, it. Are you there? Yeah. But watch out, this bridge isn't too safe. Watch what you grab onto. Okay. It's like the Midas touch, but instead Throw of turning stuff to gold, it crumbles. <laughs> okay. so I'll be on time. Let's oh, have few minutes remaining. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. It's not helping. You need to stay calm, okay? Alright, I'm just I'm scared. Understandable. Wait, I see something else glowy there. Okay, there must have been something to pick up over here. Only makes this at this time. Yeah, it's it has the no in the uh, in the blank area again with that. Uh, all right, that. Someone used to make this uh, their hidey hole. Or at least a temporarily one. Yeah, I'm guessing in some of these side bits there used to be stuff to pick up, like big. Uh, <laughs> Big points or something. Hey, Where are you? Look, we're nearly there. We can just keep it together. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, this place is falling apart. Get me out of here. Keep it together, so at least something in this place stays together. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, come on. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need to get you a grappling hook or something. Okay, move. Oh god! It's horrible. Okay. This looks a bit more stable. Okay. Yeah, we're on one of the supports, so it should be more structurally safe. Yeah, structurally safe does not mean completely safe, though. How are we going to get across there? Oh, no. 
We've got company. Let me scan. Hmm. That mech. It has a flaw. If you can damage its inner core, it'll self-destruct. Okay, what are those stunner things again? And I, I just had a bit of a thought. Uh, the reason why the, the reason why a bunch of these mechs are melee focused is well, if you're going to send mechs against soldiers, uh, bulletproof mechs for the most part at that, uh, why would you stay at range if you could just get in close and rip them to shreds? Where well, they would have practically no defense. Yeah, and the uh, we'll look will be also uh, just an added factor of uh, psychological warfare, like mm -hmm. making yeah. you, uh, the enemy fear, intimidation, and terror. Let's see. Can I get the both of these? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay. Lucky that we don't get caught in the blast. Root here. Let's but see. Corp. Some sort of corp, but can't make out anything beyond that. Yeah, we've seen that symbol almost everywhere. Yeah, this way. Let's see. Corp. Throw me across. <laughs> They been behind the whole robot thing? Hmm, not enough evidence, I'd say. Could just be a big megacorp making a bunch of stuff like Amazon and such. Okay, no mechs in sight. That, well, I did say in sight. Okay, where to jump to? Where to? Is there something down this way? Nope. Are there something? Are you able to go around? Ah, got back and around. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a question. Yeah, I can see people who are getting do a lot of mistakes here due to how far back you may need to go to get around. Okay, I can make this. There. Okay. Only because my shield is already upgraded, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Typical flank and spank. This way. Hey. There we go. Keep saying focus attack or retinity, but I don't think we've gotten an explanation on that. Let's go. It might be some. It might be an upgrade that I bought at one point, so it's not going to give an explanation because, well, it's not. It's not recently been bought, so it's not going to tell. Hmm. Oh well. You're leaving me behind. Yeah, come on. You should be able to make that jump. Okay. Okay, no leaving you behind this way. You, thank you. And that's the timer. Yes, as I look at the clock. Oh, damn, another dog. We better move. I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, uh, Half-Life's dog is a lot uh, nicer than these ones, huh? Okay. Uh, I'm guessing that was a checkpoint. I'm not really been keeping an eye out for save markers. 
Okay, let's Same. do a little check. I haven't even noticed what the sea mark looks like. Let's see, where does this put us? Hopefully not too far. Oh, that's, that's a decent bit back. Okay. But it's a survivable bit. Plus we know what to do. Yep. And, okay, we can skip these. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a bit of a, an, an annoyance, I'd say. But, oh well, it's one we can live with. Plus the game is nice enough with everything else. So, yeah. That'll be it for our first stream of Enslaved Odyssey to the West. So let's head on over here. And yes, I've been, <laughs> I've been, uh, let's just go back for a bit. I've been used, I've put this in my background to have, well, something more to look at than just a blank black space. So yeah, I, I've grown to like this quite a bit. I slapped it together with an AI thing and further messing around with it with paint. And I, I, <laughs> I've grown to quite like it. Yeah, but, you know, yeah. It is, you could, we could probably have a future a proper artist make something in that style. Just you, yeah. you, you give it as a reference and do a proper one. Yeah, eventually when well, actually, I actually have money to spend. <laughs> okay. For now, though, let's go look for someone to raid. So let me move over the screen share there. And there, okay. And let's see who are online. We have Armchair General who is playing Slay the Spire, uh, Zina Voya who is, is yeah, who is doing some art. Karen I is online with a game called Cuisineer. I think I've seen that pop up on the Steam queue. So let's have a That's little heard peek. Of uh, I believe it's up there. Of course, they're in their free stream time, but I think it's uh, a roguelite uh, similar to other such times uh, to uh, undermine and such, but it's <laughs> it's food based and such. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have Sour Rollwiz with Lucanids. They have played that before, I believe, but it's been a bit since. And of course, they keep... of course, the freaking ads constantly. Uh, Hisai Rozier is playing Pseudo Regalia. Ruffu Raccoon is playing Rocksmith's 2014 edition remastered. Okay. I thought uh, most of those... <clears throat> I thought most of those peripheral games... Uh, Peripheral-based music games were dead, but apparently not dead enough to not get remasters, it seems. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Then we have Kiri Natsuyoko with Old School Roomscape. Awful Cakey is just chatting. Last stream before vacation. Okay. And then we have K9, who is streaming Risk of Rain Returns. And last but not least, we have Horatius the Dwarf with Lethal Company. Dwarf screams in space, no one hears. Okay. Okay, what? Hmm. Let's see, they're playing together with three others. I'm guessing this is. Okay. Oh, it's just like someone keeps the ca Oh, I think it's like uh oh what's it called? Uh that the someone tells you from one end how to disarm a bomb uh, through instructions, just in here is you're the one monitoring and guiding your team from the camera, and the other players are the one that you are trying to guide. Yeah, keep calm and nobody explodes or something like that. That's the one. Just hmm. different setting in this case. Just instead of a bomb, you just your one is guessing navigating the team to the cameras. Yeah. Hmm. It does look interesting. That's well, and such games can be quite hilarious with everyone screwing up and such. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, the choice is yours. Who to rate then? Yes. Well, it says. Mm. Attempt to yawn. It has been a while since we've raided Horatio, but I feel like we will be disturbing them in this case, for they probably require all the focus. So not... Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think we raided it's... Ruffy recently. Um, Kanai? Kanai or Hisaya? 
No, I don't think we did rated them this week at all. No, they, 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 don't sure we did last week at all, actually. Neither of them, it seems, and it looks... Okay, okay. for a moment I thought, are they trying... <laughs> no, they are looking back some uh, speed run or something. Okay, yeah, let's go raid uh, K9 then. So, copy name, head to our place, and slash raid paste. But before we start out, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Sensei, for lurking as usual. And I see another name in there. I'll have to... <laughs> Hello there. I'll have to double check your name against a list of bots. Because they still keep popping up every now and then. If you are not a bot, sorry. But if you are a bot, <laughs> well, you won't respond anyways. <clears throat> And thank you as always, Drick here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, with that, let's get that raid started. Um, oh, apparently they've got raids blocked at the moment. Okay, uh, let's go oh, raid uh, Karenai then, who has just gone out of the pre stream. Okay, slash raid and paste, go. Okay. Uh, if everything goes well, we should have another stream later today in about three hours, just a bit under that, uh, where we will be continuing with the Sexy Brutale as we try to save uh, the next of the guests of the casino. <coughs> oh dear, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that'll be, well, if things go well. So until next time, have a nice day and until then. Be safe yeah, thank you all again for watch watching. Out for undead seagulls. <laughs> I messed up my line. There, there, Captain. <laughs> <laughs>